Hey guys, welcome back. Now today, I'm giving you a top 5 list of my favourite five immersion mods. So yeah, all of these mods are gonna improve your immersion levels so that you forget that you're in uh, Skyrim and you think that you're in uh, the real deal. And it's it's pretty damn fancy. I mean, I mean you know, you're, you're still gonna know you're alive, so don't worry about any of that. But, having said that, it just makes the game feel more realistic. I'm not talking about graphics here, I'm talking about, you know, uh, making, fixing slight things that make the game a little bit unrealistic and in some places adding things that just make it a little bit more uh, authentic. So the first mod I'm going to talk about is Immersive HUD. So the Immersive HUD mod allows you to enable and disable HUD as you please uh, by HUD I mean graphical user interface or heads up display when you're talking about HUD. So uh, this can be, when you use the mod you can turn it on and off by pressing the X key. So now you see I've got the uh, I've got the compass. This can all be configured in Sky UI under the mod configuration menu. Under the options of immersive HUD, you can choose whether it's on or off. So if I go off again, as you can see, I've got the I've got the uh, pointer in the middle of the screen. So you can also configure a hotkey. This is my settings. So I have pretty much default, except I have the crosshair only on when uh, access activatable. Which means that the crosshair is off normally, but if I go to someone like him where there's an option, yeah, it appears it appears again. Which is useful if you know you want to pick up something or you know you want to you want to press this. You're trying to harvest berries and you want to harvest like this plant, not take the basket. Otherwise, you'd be like, oh no, please, please give me the biscuit, uh, please. Um, and that was a massive HUD. Link in the description eh? and on to the next mode. Okay guys, so we're on to the second mod, and sure off this one, we're back in my main dude, my high level champion, uh, not Jemima, because this mod is going to show you some really cool items. So this mod is actually, well it's really two mods, but they, they're, they're achieving the same thing. And these mods are immersive weapons and immersive armors. So the effect of these two mods is to add more weapons and arms to the game. So if you can see I'm actually holding a golden sword right now, which is called... Golden Saint Sword, and it's it's pretty damn fancy. It has to be said. Um, I do. I, it's really detailed, very shiny. And actually, I'm gonna go just chop off the good with it. Watch you can it. see when it has blood in it. I'm on your side. It looks pretty damn cool. So as you can see, this mod adds loads of weapons. This is just some that I found on this particular quest I'm doing right now. So I've got this uh, Alinor Saber, Saber, pretty fancy, sort of like an elvish sword. And we got armor like Bosmir, Bosma reinforced gloves. And we got these decorated shields, like these target shields that come with loads of different uh, variations of the colors on them. Um, so that is the weapons and armor mods, the immersive weapon and armor mod. Link in the description. Great to add immersion for just, you know, it, ma it makes the game get a little less repetitive. I'm always finding new things like those Bosma gloves. That's the first Bosma item I'd ever seen in the game. And uh, it's, I just, it's pretty fantastic. On to the next mod. My mother and father died years ago. Okay, guys, so the next mod is Frostfall. Uh, Frostfall is basically, it, it adds a lot of hard. Whoa, dead vampire lady. Why are you out in the cold? Get back in your grave. I'm gonna shove a shovel on your ass. Look at it. Oh. Okay. So the next mod is Frostfall. And the oh my god, reindeer. Yo, reindeer. No, come here. <laughs> so yeah, the next mod is Frostfall. And the aim of this game, the name of the game, is to add a hardcore element to Skyrim. So if we take a look under the menu, I'll explain it better there. So we go here and we look at Frostfall, the Sky UI menu. So one of the elements this adds to the game is an exposure rate. So depending where you are on a map, if you're in a cold place, like on a mountain, you'll see a little bar come up and that will show your exposure rate. Now when that gets to zero, you've frozen to death. When that's on full, you've probably got a, quite a while to go. And you can warm yourself up by carrying a torch and starting a fire. Oh, oh no, we're under attack. What do you think? Whoa, holy moly. Oh dear, it's some kind of ass dragon. There we go. That's good. That's good. Took it out. Okay, so we've been adventuring for the day, and we want to set up a campfire because it's getting getting quite chilly, and uh, quite it's getting a bit getting pretty late soon. Okay, so to set up a camp, the first thing we're going to want is a tent. Now you can buy these from various various shops around the world of Skyrim. I've got one right now, so I'm going to find it. 
and there you go, it's here, my small fur tent. Uh, now it's a fur one, like they have different things. So fur ones are warmer, but less good when it rains. It's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty fancy. So you press R to drop it. We'll give you these options. I don't want to drop it. I want to pitch it. And now I can decide where I want to pitch my tent. So I think over here will be just fine. Press E. Pitch tent. And there you go. There's my, my sleeping bag. But, but wait, wait up, because here is the full shebang. Um. So that's good. I can I can I can use my bedroll. Just lie down. It's great. I'm in. I'm chilling. So yeah, it's getting quite cold. So I want to build a campfire. So under your magic, you should find a spell called Survival Skills, which I've got equipped right now. And if we, if we press Z, it'll give us these options. So we can build a campfire, craft an item, harvest wood, and stuff like that. Um, and right now, I want to build a campfire. So this will it doesn't matter if you've got wood at this point or not. <laughs> Add wood. Uh, so if you press E, it will build not the campfire really, but it will build like the, the skeleton of the campfire. So now if I try and activate it, I've got six firewood on me, but from chopping some wood. So if I add that firewood, we've got a nice, nice campfire going. And um, yeah, I can I can destroy it. But for now, I think it's it's going to be getting going to be getting dark soon. Convenient cut to darkness. And there you go. We got we got a couple of piles of wood. It's conveniently dark. So I think the best thing to do is to search this firewood and get six six of these bit bad boys. And there you go, and I'm I'm off to bed. And Nigo, I don't know where Arthur is. Look, I'm look if you see that top right, I'm now I'm now warming up, getting toasty. And we get inside, use my bedroll. I'm gonna lie down. Actually shall I i I'll turn the light off. Come on. Come on, guys. Okay, so I've turned the lantern off. And I'm ready to sleep. It's morning, and I feel that uh, I've showed you Frostfall. There is more that it has to offer, but for now, that's enough. If you want to download the mod, check it out in the description. Links in the next mod manager. And we're moving on. Oh, I'm a bit, I'm a bit glitched. I think I, d I should not put this campfire here. Destroy the campfire. There we go. Um, so we're going to move on to the next mod, which is Ultimate H HD Fire Effects. The big fat bear. Eat my HD flame bear. Eat my HD flame bear. Eat my HD flame bear. So if I get the flames out, jewelry of my flames, look at that, it's fantastic. We've got some HD, very crisp flames, so you would not usually get that much detail on the flame. And if I set up it on fire, look at that. Look at the HDness on that flame. For me, having more realistic flames just makes the game seem so much more realistic because it does it on everything, like even you know, um, torches and fireplaces in like buildings. It's just, it's just great, and it just feels really warm, you know. Because Skyrim's very cold land, having this realistic fire makes it that little bit warmer. So make sure to check out this in the description. Holy moly! No one's a bear. It's a big fat bear. He died a happy bear. He also died an HD bear. Okay, so the fifth and final mod is um, quite, quite a subtle mod. You may not notice it at first, but as someone who plays a lot of Skyrim, I definitely notice having this in the game. And that is the Sounds of Skyrim mod. Now this mod adds like loads of different new sounds to the game. Um, including when you're in cities, outside and about, and in dungeons. Now holy moly, there's a dead mammoth. Did I kill that? Sorry guys, I think I may have, I may have killed that. The Sounds of Skyrim mod is fantastic because when you're in cities you can hear like cats fighting and at the night time you hear like owls and stuff. And when you're out here you hear, I mean it's not just the just not just the wolves but you hear loads of like wildlife and like some weird sounds that you wouldn't usually hear. And in dungeons it makes it a little bit more creepy and interesting when you can hear like like ghouls of the deep. Oh, oh no, there's a mud crab. Okay, they got it. Don't worry everyone. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting Sounds of Skyrim well as well for that that more immersion, more immersive feel to the game. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to check out all the links in the description. And uh, look out for the next video of Skyrim. So if you feel really good, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I did it that time. That was pretty surprising. Bye.